Hi, this is Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. And this is... Moonlander 2. Well, I'm in the Lander 1, really. Do I need to rename? Minus Lander 1. Uh, and I'm but seconds away. In fact, I really should... I should... In fact, seconds... I need to go. Sorry about this. <laughs> uh, put it the wrong way. <laughs> that went wrong. I'm sorry, I got confused. I had some problem with my recording software. It doesn't matter, I'm going to get my encounter. All fine. Erg, annoying, 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 annoying. Right, we will. My staging has gotten balked, and I don't know why. I like to think it's because I had to, I had to save and, and restart and such because my recording software wasn't recording. Uh, so that's my current engine. That will be the separator. And then I act okay. That's fine. Back on course. Uh, up, kill that, so I don't have any... Right, so instead of going um, on this side of Minos, I'm currently going on this side of Minos, which is not really what I wanted, but never mind, I don't care. Right, okay, so I can set up a, a, a node here for... Nice shallow orbits. That'll do for this moment, I think. So I'm approaching Minmus. I'm approaching Minmus, and uh, the plan is to put Jebediah Kerman uh, on the surface of Minmus, and eventually to plant a flag and get science and do all sorts of things. This is because this particular mission is uh, specifically aimed at getting Jebediah Kerman some much-needed experience. Because uh, at the moment, as you can see, uh, if I have the SAS on, he can s do stability assist, he can do prograde, he can hold to a prograde vector and he can hold to a retrograde vector. What I would like him to be able to do is do all of these things as well. Um, you know, so you've got the, the normal and you've got the, the normal and the anti-normal and you've got uh, radial and anti-radial. Uh, hopefully by the time he's finished this particular orbit, that's exactly what he's going to be able to do. Uh, so, hurrah. Now I have to say I have a I have a terrible temptation. I'm not sure I should probably take advantage of at this particular stage of my Kerbal career, which is that it's going to be four days before the next burn. In theory, in theory, what I could do is set up a mission to the moon. Uh, with a less experienced Kerbin, which is well, everybody, no one, no one's experience is as experienced as Jebediah. But get them experience points by going into Kerbin orbit for a point, which will it'll be enough to get them up to uh, one star level, 
but then go to the moon, which gives me, I mean, also I'll be able to get more science and more this and more that. But I get the feeling that I really probably shouldn't. <laughs> I should probably concentrate on one mission at a time. Um, there's also the fact that, that if you're, you're talking, you know, realistically, the, um, the Space Center probably wouldn't be able to launch that many things that quickly. Um, it would be kind of interesting to do, I think, on some level, but I might wait until I'm slightly better than I am. And I might wait until I install... Now that I've, now that I've installed a mod, I've installed one mod, and I'm now, you know, slightly less terrified of mods. And I think possibly the alarm, the Kerbal Alarm Clock might be the one to go to for the next one, which is... Because that's, that's more information. It's not, it's not giving me extra capabilities, which the Chaos mod is in fact giving me extra capabilities. I can do things with a chaos mod that I can cannot currently do, or I find difficult to do. Whereas the alarm clock just like wake up, idiot, um, which would be a kind of a fun thing. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be. I'm going to be good. I'm going to not do that. I am just going to time warp to the next one. Although my, the next chaos script I write is very likely to be a uh, warp at high level until you get close to the maneuver node, at which point stop warping, you idiot. Bloody hell, that's far. Now, for no particular reason, I'm going to probably slow the warp down now-ish, as I get close to the encounter. Well, the, the, the encounter is still two hours away. Basically, when I when I move to, to this, go from the purple line to the uh, that brown line, so there you go, now my blue line is, is following that way. And I'm a few minutes away from that node. Not a few minutes, but like 32. Whoa. So I think I think the fact that, the, that there's that whole line sweeping across the screen, uh, it's not actually sweeping across the screen, really Minmus is moving, but the focus is on, on me at the minute. Oh, so the focus is on Minmus, so it's Minmus is staying still, still where everything's moving past, and this makes everything look so scary. Um, which is why, really why I would want a computer program that would, that would keep, in, keep track of my, my warp levels, and stop me from doing idiot things. Gonna quickly see how much fuel I've got in the tank. That is not what I want. I want that stage only. Almost all my fuel in the tank, because I have I have massively overfueled this particular joint. But that's okay. I don't mind. Does mean that when I'm think I'm thinking of my next mission, and I think my next mission is going to either I think I'm thinking of trying to take a rover with me. Uh, which e basically I'm going to take away one of the parachutes on the return stage because I have more parachutes than I need. Sticking a docking clamp on top and docking a rover to that and if the rover has RCS which I can provide then it will when it gets to the moon literally you know it'll land on top and just go Psh! Or possibly even uh, separate in orbit and do its own deorbit. Really? And that way, you know, I can get to a lot of different biomes on the moon relatively easily without having to, to bother with the uh, 
Well, either the RCS or Kerbal's having to <laughs> face it and they slide for hundreds and hundreds of meters. I want to slow down, not speed up. Slow down, not speed up. Like that finger, not that finger. I do want to speed up a little bit because that's taking me Oh, it's an est give me an estimated burn about a minute. Well, it's nearly two minutes, in fact. Don't know if that's correct. I hope it isn't. I'm not sure I've got a minute's worth of burn in this. I want to go down to about a minute. In fact, we'll call it exactly a minute. And then we'll see what happens. It's possible that it, it's estimated. It's estimated wrong, uh, which is actually fairly common. Or maybe not. Oh, I got the fuel for it. I mean, this is all due to the fact that I, I completely botched um, the transfer. Oh, this is exactly the wrong thing. Um, stupid. I want I. Instead of having Jeb point at the prograde and point at the retrograde, which is the, instead of pointing at the retrograde, I said had pointed at the prograde, which wasn't very clever. The estimated burn times changed completely, though, so it wasn't it wasn't a minute at all. I love the way all my, you know, all the things uh, wiggling around, all the various lines, because I'm not quite sure which way I'm pointing right now. I'll put you back on assist. Just tweak you over to more where the maneuver seems to be pointing at the moment. final thing. Fifteen it'll do. What I would particularly like, what I, what I could possibly use the chaos for, uh, which wouldn't be too kind of cheating. Although I think I think it's I don't feel it's terribly cheating if you're making your own autopilot as opposed to just grabbing somebody else's. Even that's not really cheating. Too perfectly honest. I mean, you know, you, you play the game however you however you want to play the game. Um, but even if I just had a thing that, uh, as I'm fiddling with the maneuver node, would give me an update on what the periapsis of my maneuver node is and what the apoapsis of my my maneuver node is, even if it just did that just gave me that information, which is information that I, I have in the game, it's just I have to keep move there and then put my mouse there, move there, put my mouse there, move there, 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 which is a pain in the bottoms, quite frankly. Even if I just had that, 
that would that would just like that would make life so much easier. Um, you know, wouldn't even have to particularly. It's just it's just inf putting it's just putting information where I want it, as opposed to where the game thinks it should be. Oh, that's delightful. Let's just point prograde. Uh, retro no, no, retrograde, you idiot, Michael. Let's just point retrograde. Leave, I've unstabled my spaceship. I think the poor game is currently very confused about... where things are. You can see, by the way, that the orbit's wobbling. made life somewhat difficult for myself. Um, more reaction wheels. More reaction wheels. That's what I think. And given I've got so much spare fuel on all these stages, those, those funky Werner engines might be a good science um, investment. It really doesn't know where the maneuver node is. But I know it's going to be um, end up being retrograde. So. so this is another couple of days of waiting for a burn. Which yeah, I could I could launch a whole new mission. I could probably get to the moon and back in the time it's going to take him to get to this. Well, things seem to have settled down. Oh, no, they haven't. Maybe I should look at my ship to make sure it's not doing anything weird. No, no more weird than it was before. Definitely to make the thing more maneuverable. Possibilities include reaction wheels about here. But it's all weight, that sort of thing. Um, but if I wanted to get more monitor propellant, which is what I was using before, then that would be more weight here. Also. But again, the, so the least the, the least weight thing would be again those those funky rockets that use they work off the RCS. But the actual fuel that they use, they work off the RCS system, so they respond to the RCS command. But the actual fuel they use comes off the actual engine itself, the actual just the standard um, fuel, liquid liquid um, liquid fuel. I didn't like that. I'm getting very close. Keep forgetting that there is that kind of you know you don't just go into you just go and snap into warp. You actually have to actually takes a little bit to get out of warp. Oh wait, 
Did I miss it? What the hell happened? What? Oh, I'm an idiot. Alright, let's take it off that. Just burn retrograde for a bit. It's not going to be perfect, but I don't need perfect. I just need vaguely stable. Oh, don't know what's happening. I don't know when. Sorry, I don't know when I lost focus so completely. Be careful of my um, my periapsis now. Right, that'll do it, I think. And then the question is, when do I? Um, where do I land? Now I've got my... I think I want to land here. That's the Greater Flats. Um, so you've got the Greater Flats, you've got uh, Slopes, you've got Midlands, Highlands... And my Apoapsis is around there. Oh, I have to get rid of that maneuver. I've got to be cautious because I can ram into mountains uh, if I'm not careful. Uh, tons of fuel left. I'm going to do a couple of more burns to just get myself into a smaller orbit. So no, I don't go above that level, so I don't get to uh, time warp too much. I'm going to go down to zero warp and try and move myself close to the maneuver node. Deeply regretting the design of a rocket at the minute. Try and keep an eye on the on the actual, you know, node in T, and not make the same mistake I did last time. I need to make different mistakes each time. I think I just aim myself for extra grade. Give it that. Man, the game is not happy. That'll do, I think. Wow. So 
we'll do one more new. I'm just going to bring this down to. Oh, I'm not going to bother. This is actually being quite irritating. Uh, so we'll go with that. Oh, and somehow the stability of this thing is just kind of following me around. Oh, there we go. Got rid of it. So, yeah, okay. I want to land in there, basically. Apart from else, it's nice and flat, uh, and it also counts as sea level. Uh, which means my altimeter is actually going to work. Alright, so we need to go here. Take ourselves off stability assist. And. do you know, hell with it. What I want to do is just slow a hair. Just keep pointing at the horizon and slow as much of my surface velocity as possible. And I can tell that by where that's going. confused about where everything is. I need to start making my ships with a way for me to really tell which way I am pointing and so what which way which keys will point me where I want to go. You see what I mean? Right, so my my retrograde vector is basically almost due up, which means I'm pretty close to being completely um, vertical. And those engines worked fine. These are these are little piggy engines. Um, and they work just fine. For killing my velocity, so now I should just be falling out the sky. Uh, let's put out my gear. I will turn on the lights. I'm just gonna. I'm just experimenting with small amounts of thrust. Uh, and that does, in fact, do exactly what I want to do. So I'm slowing, but not not so quickly that I, I don't have any control. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's resume falling out the sky. Uh, what's my ultimate? So I'm about 8,000 meters up, so I've got, a, I've got a ways to fall. Uh, can I do, I can do a science while I'm up here, actually. Goo feels right at home here. And I can do a materials bay. High radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. Looks like it'd be fun to paint the rocket with this. That's a hundred science right there. Uh, let's see if I can grab the temperature thing. Log temperature. Uh, there you go. 
for a report. Like that's a relative flat pack's good land there. Now I need to put this back on and then go back to retrograde. So that's quite a bit of science from near Minmus. I probably could have got some far above Minmus, but me. I didn't think of that. Uh, I should, should be landing straight on, I shouldn't be landing on that bit. So that's all good. Can give myself a little bit of thrust. Yeah, so even a tiny bit of thrust is actually slowing me down. Which is nice. Um, but we're going to leave that until lower down, I think. Right, let's just. Sure that works. I've picked up some some velocity, surface velocity which I don't want. So I'm just kind of maneuvering myself. Is that the principle I got basically from Scott Manley, which is essentially you 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 blow the on you know in terms of the nav ball, you kind of blow the retrogrades away, so I can position it where I want it to be on the nav ball. Um, being incredibly conservative. Oh, okay. I now can't walk at all. So let's full. To, well, actually, can I can do hit alt and then stuff. That looks very wibbly wobbly, and I didn't like that, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> so again, the slightest amount of thrust, and my um, velocity will start to drop. Just doing this dance where I like, you know, it's the same thing. Um, I want to get it over with. But at the same time, I really don't want to smash into the ground. Um, I am going to be landing on a flat bit. I don't have to worry about um, landing on anything else, which is cool. Got eight tons of fuel left. So if I feel the need to relocate, I reckon I can relocate without any troubles. Right, I think when I'm a hundred, well, let's see how long it takes me to get to. Right, I'm eight, seven hundred meters up just now. I'm going at forty, which is really too fast. Let's right, start proper slowing down. Sometimes you just need to hit the big switch, you know? Okay, this should be fairly delicate. Ah, I see. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Ah, oh, I see. I see what's going on. If I go, if I actually go to. Um, if I go too slowly, then it doesn't know where my retrograde is, and it gets confused, and then 
bad things happen. So I'm just gonna. Actually, for a second, it really does look like I'm just kind of stopped. Uh, but there's my shadow. This is working so much nicer. And so, yeah, my retrograde went a bit mad. So obviously, I went, I went, I went, I, I got too much thrust. I'm going up again. But because I've got Ickle engines, I'm not running into the same problem I had before, which is. Um, having too much power, and thus, I mean, admittedly, I could probably do with even wimpier engines, um, or, or thrust limit them, or something, because actually, even at this stage, doing even one, you know, hitting the shift keys worth of velocity is a bit much. But you know, gentle, gentle landing. We are down on Minmus. It's actually a bit of a pity I don't have any um, um, mission to do this. Well, anyway, we are on Minmus, so I'm going to leave there, and I'm, we're, we're going we're to be going. Jeb is going to be going out and, and getting himself some science uh, next time. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying it. Please hit like and subscribe if you have. You can also find us at nearlyenoughdice.com which is a role-playing game themed podcast and blog. And finally, I have been Mike of Dice, and wishing you um, to always reach for the stars.